I do not like that purple hair sister. The fact that she's blaming everything on Haruto, it's so annoying. But you gotta realize this. She's a stupid kid. And it makes sense for a stupid kid to be making those stupid decisions. And oh, I just... It is what it is. Now, we got the confirmation that Kingdom of Garlark. Who do they got? They got the purple-haired lady, the bigger girl, you know, that was with the main group before they all got summoned. And she's got that cool armor now, which is sick design. What else is happening? I think by now the language overlay should be going away since we all have memorized the language. Hopefully that shit goes away. Um, other than that, Haruto has visited the wilderness, visited Latifa, and then has come back and saved them against like a zombie attack. Blank dolls. Humans turn into blank dolls. Um, the darker ones are even stronger. Race is doing some sort of um, experiment, getting money and just, you know, just creating more strong soldiers. What's his end game? Who's he trying to take out? Let's begin today's reaction. That's very complicated. She wants the leak? Latifa wants the leak? Alright, we're bringing them. Here we go. Ugh. Stop! Enough with the overlay! You told me it was gonna end after three episodes! Why is the voice dubbing overlay? Yeah, they do. This gotta be the one of the most annoying and stupid things that they've committed to. Like, do they think that they're being amazing right now? Like, does this studio actually think that they're going beyond the call of duty to give it, like, more attention and passion and love? Because if they do, this is such misplaced effort. It's more annoying than anything. There is no fucking point to continuously do it over and over again. Mushoku Tensei does their language translation difference in the beginning in a masterful way. This is not Mushoku Tensei. This is just fucking annoying. Yeah, she is. This is a very important spirit. The highest tier spirit, maybe. Seri and Latifa getting off on a good start. You want to pet it? Latifa's bigger than Seri. That's hilarious. Sell you a fan service. Watch her go and do this to every tail. Yeah? Did she just leak? Okay, she's gonna do it right away. Just like my bro. Just like my brother. Alright, they got off screen. Yeah, Latifah had it the worst. She was born into slavery, bro. Fuck that. Masato's chill. I like him. Mi-chan. Yeah, this is the one. Nervous? True? Fuck Aki. Oh, this one is not scared to approach Michan. Hmm? Oh. Okay. Go touch him. How very cute. Hey, we're making friends! Happy, happy! Yay! Bond are forming! Latifa keeps staring at Michan. Onechan. Ooh. Can I call you sister in law? Of 
fluffy people. Daria loves fluffy people. So annoying. I honestly want to watch this on mute right now. <laughs> so mean to Dominic! Surprised they're not fucking translating the fucking laugh, dude. They should have an overlay of like what an actual laugh is. <laughs> Hate this shit. Dry ass! What's going on, dry ass? Glaze, 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 glaze. Bye bye. Also, we have now visited this place three times? Three times. Ever since we left. Ever since we left, we went to Yagamo, then came back. They went to Beltram, then came back. And then picked up them and then came back. Three times. Bro. Sayu and Rudy and Yagamo, they're. Three times we visit Latifa and the gang. Sayo and Rudy, who are they? Do we know them? No, we don't. <laughs> What's a Yakimo, guys? I don't know shit. <laughs> Sadie so just... This is pretty cute. She loved just grabbing onto these fluffy tails. I feel like this is a bit, like, I don't know. Like, rude, but hey, it's cute girls and cute things, so who cares? <laughs> Delicious. Oh, this delicious to them? Got some Japanese influenced foods here. Aisha's so sleepy. Look at him surrounded by women. Yeah. Wait till she realizes this is actually Haru, the one that she despises. Then it's like the best way. Like, if she realizes that this is Haru, and if she still hates him, despite everything that she's witnessed, she's beyond redemption. Like, she gotta be so fucking stupid. Like, you are admitting that he's such a kind person. But, like, your own bias from your, like, misunderstanding as a kid will probably override that. Oh, my God. My big bro left me. So she does want to see Big Brother. So, like, the hate, the dis dis discontent, right? She wants to see him. It's just that she feels abandoned. No, 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 no. That's not Haruto. No, no, no. Sorry, 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 sorry. That's not Haruto at all. That's not Haruto at all. It's the other guy. Yeah, it's the other big brother. That's right. It's half siblings. That's right. Okay, good, good. I, I was worried there for a second. Because I'm like, oh, no. She's already being good. Oh, no. I can't hate on her. No, we can still hate on her. This is great. This is good news. I wonder what kingdom he got spawned in. The other big bro. Actually, I was so sleepy. Open air bath. That's right, we have a hot spring scene in the intro preview. Here we go. Bath scene. Seria loves brushing them ears and, you know, floofy tails. Yo, where's Haruto though? Yeah, they're not gonna peek? No peeking. To see who could go first? Okay. Oh, he lost. He intentionally lost. I don't know. Welcome to Isekai, girl. Never. You ain't ever going home. I've yet to see an isekai show where they went back home. In a show where it's not like I got a cheat skill another level, where clearly there's a portal that you can keep going back and forth. Like, but then again, most isekai enemies, there hasn't been one to completion yet. Most of them, right? So like, yeah, there's, there's very rare ones where, you know, people actually want to go back home. And of those ones, it hasn't even completed yet. I still haven't seen a single one that has happened. Again. With those shows that doesn't have some open door that can freely cross whenever they want. Eminence Shadow is a bit different though. Plus like Eminence in Shadow, he doesn't even want to go back. Lucius. Like, is Lucius stronger than Haruto right now? I find that hard to believe. 
Like, Haruto is beyond strong. He's stupid strong. And you tell me Lucius right now? It, maybe it's just in his head. And Haruto have a distorted perception of how strong he could be. And he, I mean, he's probably just going to play dirty. Hmm? I hope he fails to protect Aki Nechan and Aki dies. Yup. Are you new here? Yup. Fuck that, bitch. <laughs> Fan service. No fan service? I wonder if the girls would go in and peek. Because usually, you know, you got the bath spring, like hot springs or bath scenes. There's some kind of peeking, you know, happens. I wonder if the girls would peek at the hottest. Oh, a letter. Important letter. Nope, no peeking. No hot to bath scene. Whoa. Amazing. Amazing, huh? Leo. Oh, hi. Wow, how considerate. Erect. <laughs> I shouldn't be thinking erect when you're saying that, when you're mentioning parents' tombstones. Oh my god. We gotta erect that tombstone for our parents, though. Hmm. Very considerate. You saved me. I saved you though. Really? So we're really trying to send these kids home immediately? Then handle other shit. But I don't think that's gonna happen. Like there's no way these kids get summoned here and then after hanging out, they get sent back and we go to a different mission. No, I think they're stuck here with us. Mage with the most magic of anyone in Beltrum. Really? I mean, she was a professor at the age of 12. I could believe it. Why not? But that's crazy. I didn't know that. Okay. Most magic. You got the most? Okay. The strongest mage of Beltrum Kingdom. Not Roswell. Thedia. Letter? I feel like the letter's not going to be sent properly. I don't know. Well, this isn't V0. My brain. <laughs> okay. Dropping the kids off. Bye-bye. A little care package? Wow. Wow. You got a debt you can never pay me back. Okay. Wow. Always making that stupid ass face. What are you upset about, bitch? Fuck you. Yeah, what are you gonna say, huh? Huh? And nothing. Shut up. You better be dead when we come back, bro. Where's Race at? I need my man Race to show up in clutch right now. Come on, drop another fucking dragon here. Bye bye. Yes, please. Please get rid of the stupid overlay. Just learn the goddamn language, study for a bit so we can get rid of this. This is so pointless. Oh. Alright, we're back at Beltrum. The Yusha. Rizarote. I think the Yusha has a crush. Damn, really? Lisa Rote is your type? I mean, Flora and the girl beside you, they're really pretty too, but like, Lisa Rote, huh? He's got a preference for blue-haired girls, and remember, Rote ain't a regular 15-year-old girl. 
She was the other girl beside Latifa in the bus who was very cunning, right? Very smart. She gonna play him like a fiddle, probably. Roana mentioned. He's just gonna fold. Whatever Rizrote says. Look at him. No, no, no. He's gonna fold right now. He's already pressed. Look at his face. It's done. He's ready to give right now. <laughs> <laughs> Flora and Roana are pretty high level. Yeah, they look good. <laughs> like an 8.5 out of 10. <laughs> Elbows too pointy though. Would not fuck, but Lizarote. Oh, okay. We're in the realm of the nines now. Okay. Yeah. Just hits him harder, man. That's you, bro. Hmm. Because, like, Hiroaki was pretty smart. I still think he's pretty smart. But the thing is, he can't be smart when Rizarote is here. So, like, while he is cunning, and he was being very scheming, you know, an episode or two back, when he <laughs> gets infatuated, right, the lusk overcomes, it, it, it's just a mess. The brain just scrambled. And Duke Hugnart right now, he always has the most cocky, smug face. Bro is playing everyone here, puppeteering the entire thing, just putting on this, this most cunning smirk, this condescending smirk and the look he gives me just gives me shivers. Okay, that was easy. Look at that. Look at the Duke, bro. The Duke's like too easy. Wow. I can't wait for like... Him to get cucked. Maybe they go to the party and he wants to dance with Dote, but she's busy with someone else. And maybe he's gonna crash out and make it like a it's like an absolute fool of himself. Oh, we're still traveling. Oh, hair color change. Let's go. Blonde Celia again. Wonder how the dad's doing. Damn. She's so fucking rich. Look at this. Mansion, man, but then again, there are nobles. Holy shit, look at that land. Okay. I feel, like, I feel like I should could just turn into spirit form and deliver the letter and leave right now, but maybe Sedia wants to do it personally. Alright, secret entrance. Oh, we're already caught. We're already caught. Oh, pardon the familiarity. And boom, invisible. Easy. What? Okay, sure. That was easy. Dad knows. What if dad calls up the guards? Yeah, it must be someone that we know, so maybe the dad's gonna trust it, because only the family would know. Here's a letter. And we're out. Just go say hi! Just go say hi! But if she said hi, I guess like... Would it hurt anybody? I don't know what kind of narrative we're going with the letter either. But maybe it is better for us to not make contact and keep a secret of where she's, you know, where she is. But I, I, would it hurt anybody though? Alright, the letter's been given. I don't even know who mom is. Yo, do you blame her? Charles sucks. Okay. Oh, poor dad, man. I just want to see his daughter, a little pookie bear. Oh, my little Sadia. Nah, I was shitting on him. Because I still think he's very incompetent and he's not a very cunning person that could navigate himself. And he even like ex he even like said that about himself. He said that if I could just figure out better, if I could like know how to do politics better, we wouldn't be in this situation. He himself said that, right? But it's still sad that like the daughter was just here and she can't see her. Nothing. Nothing. Aww. Now, is this a flag? I hope this is not a flag. What if he just dies, bro? Oh, God. Good luck. 
けてわかりましたリオまた会いに来ましょう I think that's the episode Yeah, next time you will be able to see him in person But he might be in a coffin I don't like this I, 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 I don't like this What's happening? This is weird Why are you doing a back-to-back -back flag right now? I think he's gonna die. I think I think Charles is gonna do some heinous shit and kill the dad, man. Oh no. Ooh, ooh. And that is another episode of Spirit Chronicles. We're getting very close to catching up, and this is the final one, right? This is the fi oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. What is this? Hold on, wait, wait, wait. Preview or post-credit? Post-credit scene. Post credit scene, okay. Yo, what the fuck? They got a. They got the Flying Dutchman. <laughs> they have an actual flying ship with a beam cannon and everything. What is this tag? Dude, Lotte played. Like. She played the business game here so hard. With her, like, understanding of modern business. And how to like, you know, be a merchant. I guess she isekai and like just said, all right, I'm gonna be the best fucking like merchant possible. And now she's like a CEO. She's got so many brands, companies. She got so much money. She can even have this. Dude, she lived in the merchant's dream. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> What are we in there? Pack by. Yo. Another one. CGI though, right? Oh shit. It looks very similar to the one that we fought last season, but this time it's more CGI. I don't know. And that is another episode of Spirit Chronicles. And for sure, this one will be the last one where we have voice overlays because. This motherfucker better have learned the language here. Now, what happened today? The most important plot points. Um, more of like characterization for Aki to kind of like realize Haru is a really good person, but she hates Haru and she's trying to look for her, you know, the other big bro that's been summoned in a different kingdom. Uh, Michan's great. Everyone's great. Seria loves, you know, cute little furry girls. That was very cute. That was very funny. What else? Sedia having more closure with the letter stuff, that was important. We're getting some stuff with Charles where he's just being swooed by Rote so easily, but I'm sure Duke Huguenot is also aware of what's going on. So there's a party happening and Charles is just gonna show up and be a fucking idiot probably. I'm worried for Sedia's dad. The amount of flags that's being dropped here for his safety, ooh, I'm worried. And finally, the post credit scene. Rote is just doing her thing, bro. She got a ship. She's just doing her shit. And then a black dragon shows up. Surely race is involved with this. And maybe it's time for, you know, a hero to show up. Not Haruto. I, I want this dragon to just destroy everything. And for like, you know, our new champions to be summoned to like try to do something. And watch them just make a fool of themselves. That's it for me. If you're still here though, and if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.